Whether you speak or you write, your choice of words can easily mean the difference between a hot product that flies off the shelves and lackluster sales. Because when you use the right words for your audience, it's gonna move them to take action while the wrong words can turn them off for good. So how you write, it's kinda important. I'm Marisa Murgatroyd and I started my career as an artist who was told by my dad that I had no marketable skills and I figured out how to build a multi, multi-million dollar business anyway and I've showed over 12,000 students how to succeed online and many of them also felt like they had no marketable skills or were told by someone that they couldn't do it. Now, one of the biggest things that I've learned over the years of growing and scaling my business is the art of writing copy that converts. Now, as you can imagine, this process doesn't happen overnight and it certainly didn't for me. Now, they say that the best way to learn a new language is to date someone who speaks that language. And I started dating Murray, who became my husband a couple years later, and he is a master copywriter because he grew up surrounded by marketing books because his dad was kind of a geek about these kinds of things. And he would take them off the shelves at an early age and just absorb all of that. And so when I started dating Murray, we actually had about a seven month gap between the time we met and our first date. And he was in London and I was in Los Angeles. So over those seven months, we wrote each other every single week. And we didn't just write little notes, we wrote, these involved letters and emails that just lit each other on fire. And I'll say that I learned how to write copy by writing love letters back and forth to the man who is to become my boyfriend and ultimately my husband. One of the things that I've learned, not just in writing Murray, but in sending messages out to hundreds of thousands of people, is that the online space demands a radically different kind of writing than what we learned in school. And I had to unlearn so many things that I learned at school. And if you wanna keep people on your pages for just a lot longer than a few seconds, you gotta move them to action. So I'm gonna share seven pro writing tips to get you started. But first, go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I got a lot more videos like this one coming up and you're not gonna wanna miss them. All right. Thanks for doing that. Now go grab a pen and paper and let's do this. Tip number one is use fewer, smaller, simpler words. So avoid the temptation to use an obscure word when a simpler one would do because obscure words often distract your readers. And the more complex the idea, the more important it is to find simple ways to communicate. In fact, Many copywriters will tell you the best copy is written with the fifth grade vocabulary. Yep, you heard me right. So keep that in mind when you're tempted to pull out one of your fancy $10 words that you've discovered on your word of a day calendar, right? Just use those simple words. And then tip number two is to beware of adjectives. So adjectives are actually poison to your message because they set off people's hype detector. So instead of using a bunch of adjectives to describe something, use a stronger noun or a stronger verb. If that means you can leave out an adjective. So for example, a crisis is always better than a severe problem or an urgent problem or an urgent and severe gnarly hairy problem. You see my point? So now let's move on to tip number three, which is to use power words. So how do you feel when I say words like nice, miscellaneous, essay, summary, textbook, work, subscribe. I already feel kind of deflated just reading them aloud. What about you? Now let's contrast them with words like urgent, elite, ingenious, powerful, jumpstart quickly, limited, discover, engage. Now those are all examples of what are commonly known as power words. And power words are simply words that contain a little more punch, a little more fuel, a little more juice. The kind of words where your pulse fires up a little bit when you hear them. The kind of words that inspire excitement, enthusiasm, action. So when you write your next headline or an email subject line or your social post, try using a power word where possible. That brings me to tip number four, which is to limit your sentences and even your paragraphs to one simple point. 
because nobody's got time to read big chunks of text anymore. So mix up the length and density of your writing so it's interesting to the eye. You know, make it easy to quickly scan through because guess what? People scan on the web, they don't read. And then keep your visitor's eyes just moving down the page easily, quickly, point by point. And this gives them the sense that they're making progress. It keeps them engaged, it sets them up to win. Which brings me to something a little bit controversial. But first, if you want more tips like what I'm sharing right now, join over 60,000 entrepreneurs and get my best tips and trainings delivered to your inbox each week. Go to liveyourmessage.com forward slash subscribe. All right, I promised you a few more tips. So tip number five is that the best copy isn't grammatically correct. So if you're gasping right now, I wanna say you did hear me right. Everything you learned in school about proper grammar and writing is not gonna help you sell your products. And often, the best copy is not actually grammatically correct. So don't be afraid of throwing in a kinda in your copy or some other word that isn't formally correct. Which brings me to tip number six, which is to be conversational. Be yourself, tell stories. People wanna hear from a real person with a real personality. But business owners and entrepreneurs tend to become dry and boring in general when they talk about their business. And that's the fastest way to get lost in the sea of almost 2 billion people with websites, right? So tell stories about your successes and your failures and every other thing in between, right? Because you can even turn a fun encounter into a message that moves your audience. For example, I often talk about the first time I saw a video on YouTube of the Pokemon Go phenomenon where people were just stampeding through the streets, grown adults stampeding through the streets of Santa Monica in chase of little virtual creatures. And I thought the world had gone nuts until I realized that I could use similar techniques to have people chase towards their biggest hopes and dreams in life. Now that small encounter of just watching a video on YouTube became the basis of my whole methodology for online course creation. And it's a good story. That's tip number six. And tip number seven is to end with a compelling call to action or what people call a CTA because this is the most overlooked part of writing for the web. But as they say, when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. So you can never assume that your audience knows exactly what to do next. That's why you have to use a CTA to let people know exactly what to do next or how to take action. Otherwise, they're gonna read and just bounce. Now, your CTA it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as read more or Maybe you wanna get more specific, like leave your name and email address for instant access to my free on-demand masterclass. It really depends on what you want your audience to do next. Now, there you have it. Seven pro tips to improve your online writing style starting right now, today. But one quick disclaimer, you can't become a master copywriter in just a few weeks. Writing copy really is a lifelong pursuit. So just keep practicing these seven tips each day and you're gonna notice more and more gains. You got this. Now, if you like this video, give it a like, drop me a comment and be sure to subscribe and let me also share with you a couple more videos like this one. How to write emails to sell a product and the simple formula to create your perfect elevator pitch. Sell anything. Now, I hope these messaging tips will help you because the world is waiting for you to step up and live your message. All right, see you in the next video.